I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. What's up, world? Welcome to this quick jab edition of I Mix What I Like featuring Skip Coon, a very special edition. Wanted to talk with uh, Skip about this brand new album, this amazing album, August. So, Skip, first of all, welcome. Congratulations. Good to see you. Hey, good to be and seen, man. Thank you. I got 10, relatively, r- roughly 10 quick questions. We're just going to run through very quickly and talking about this album that is amazing. So first question, Skip Coon, who are you? And son, Miles Garvin, August Daddy, uh Alexander son. I can go. I can go back, I think two generations naming folks. Uh so yeah, that's that's who I am. I make some rap music. <laughs> so Speaking of which, what is the name of the new album and where can people get it? Um, that's really an interesting question, right? Like people say that about like things that are far more interesting than that. But I recently found out that my YouTube uh, has been taken down, um, like full ban for hate speech. <laughs> yeah, like like I got a hate speech ban. Um, so it should be, I know it'll be available on Bandcamp. We are trying to figure out ways to circumvent, uh, the machine having it, you know, but it'll also be available at all your streaming services. Cause the audience doesn't want to go outside of that to consume music, but you know, uh, it's a very interesting time to figure out how to put out a record. Cause we're so reliant on YouTube and I don't do the socials like that. Uh, luckily, uh, I have some folks around me now that are picking that up for me. But so it'll be Bandcamp, it'll be on your streaming sites. But we're trying to figure out an answer to to what happens when we rely solely on this model to to release records and art like this. And the name, though, August Radio Free Jafrica, uh, August. So yeah, right on. who produced the album? Uh, Nick, you know, me and Nick gonna work together until we not around. Like, uh, so Nick sends things, we talk about things, and then I add things to it. And then we have, we have the music. But yeah, Nick is gonna, Nick is my little brother, man. So when, as long as I'm making things, Nick will have a hand in it. I heard it I, before I was con- th- before I was sure that that was the case. I could hear it in the production. I I really appreciate his production style and how you sound on it. It's 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 a it's a it's a perfect match. I'm I'm I, I like the yeah yeah. It's a good Nick duo. That guy. Nick that guy. Yeah. So does it bother you to have your work called genius? No, nah, it's flattering. Like depending on the person that says it, I think a person that says it means it as a means it as an affirmation then yeah i'll take it like i like all my compliments so yeah like, I'm with it, you know like, why do you call for god to deliver drought and the weevil you know like uh i am not a um i believe i believe in god um but i also don't believe in the representation that white christianity puts on god and if you read like old testament um, when Jewish people were having it, was having a hard time, uh, they were not turning the other cheek. They were not uh, blindly following and they were not fasting and praying. You know, like they they wanted they wanted God to smite. They wanted lots of smiting. And uh, if if that is what God's chosen people uh call on god to do that's what i'm calling on god to do for me too i'm gonna do my part and um like let's destroy these folks crops like if if we're gonna live in whatever system we are we are in as as workers as labor that is taking advantage of us i want whatever is available to me and i i put god in that bucket for me uh, I want everything in that bucket to work toward the end of my condition. So, yeah, I definitely want 
drought and weevils, whatever those technological droughts and weevils are. Like I want, I want my enemy to feel it on all sides, like physically and spiritually. Somewhat similarly, what are you, what are you saying in this album about God and capital? Uh like I think in 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 the first the first record, um, I just kind of talked to like my absence. Like a lot changed in my life, you know. Like I was I got divorced, I had just had my second child. Um I was going through it, you know, um, and I don't think I was going through it because of anything supernatural or it wasn't my time. I was going through it because that is the condition that poor people in this experience live in. And, um, and the more I think about it, the more I engage with it, the more, you know, I think people look at God as, like a rich uncle uh and not like a being that wants justice you know um i don't think god should just be um should just be doling out blessings and not doling out justice like justice is a blessing uh and i think we are far more equipped to go after those things than we would like to think that we are and i think a lot of people hide behind god doing the work but god gave me strength i think uh frederick Douglass, uh you know whatever but um he talks about you know god did not help him nearly as much until he started praying with his legs and i think about that you know in our current condition like i think god is gonna show up when we show up and start doing the work that we've been called to do if we believe in it and is that why you end if i heard correctly you end the album with the the end of the album begins with a prayer or you talking to God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like you. You be picking up on the things, man. So yeah, but I, I, like I listened repeatedly in the last twenty four hours. I, I really love what you've done here, man. And I, I, my, and I didn't even mean it as a complaint in the sense that to 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 address it to your art, but I was just just mad that it was wasn't longer. That was my only, but I. So yeah, I'm listening, man. I I've, I listen to you when you talk, man, and when you talk over these beats and the way you talk, I'm listening, and I'm so, moved by it. That's the thing, man. I'm moved by it, I, and that's so, why yeah. I try to keep them so short. Like I want the albums mm -hmm. to be short. Like I want the album to be your drive to work. Cause like I don't think you're supposed to listen to this music and not do nothing. Like it, it should it should convict you, right? Like like in my mind, like even when I'm listening to it, I'm listening to it on some like, man, we got to get out here and get to it. Like, you know, ain't, you know, ain't nobody coming over that hill to save us. And if, if we don't like where we are, then how about we move? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's that difficult for me. So speaking of understanding where we are, do people understand the story of Pinocchio? That was really good. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. You know, like if you, cause if you get it, you know, like if you get it and, you know, speaking of which I know we're going to be short, but like one of the things that I've been thinking about doing, um, because the last few projects, um, sophomore slump and miles Garvey would get picked up by academics and they would hit me and just be like, and what I decided that I wanted to do with this piece is I want to annotate my own lyrics. So, like, I need your help as a as an academic and a scholar to um, to teach me how to properly cite. Like, I want to like type them all out and have footnotes. You know what I'm saying? And you can go through and look at the footnote to see what's happening. Cause you know, like. I mean, it's just it's just crazy. Like, you know, you build a thing and then that thing just wants to be the thing that created it. But it's not. And we arguing with the puppet that's in front of us and not the machine that is building the puppets. Right. Because where we are right now, 
you can swap Joe Biden with Kamala Harris and the system is going to remain essentially the same. Like there will be some different features, but how do we get to start addressing the machine that keeps giving us these things repeatedly? You know? So speaking of annotations, I did, I wanted to ask you, you connect Osage to Ruby Ridge. I think one thing that we will forever, I am a Southerner. And I'm not a pretend to be Southerner. I'm not a Southerner when it's convenient. Me and Diallo have had this conversation. And it does not really, it does not compute to people that don't necessarily follow what's happening. Even, even as a younger person, one of the things that I understood was when they decide to come for you, they coming. And the response is dependent on who is being come for, right? So when them folks top them heels, the way I understand that story is people were working in community and doing things that they believed in, right? Now, one group of people got bombed by the police. Another group of people were descended upon by the federal government and their aims were very different on the surface but we're more about self-determination for both of those groups. And we can disagree with one of them, but the information even going into it uh, was very sketchy at best. And all I'm saying is, and the other piece of that goes into uh, Osage, Ruby Ridge, and Lewis Street, which is the Republic of New Africa uh, in Jackson, right? Where the police still descended upon a house uh, looking for a person that was not there, that they had knowledge was not there. Uh, they picked a fight and they got one. And one of the things that is very uncomfortable that I wrestle with a lot is this idea that like in a lot of instances, the people that return fire meet a similar end, but the people that did not return fire were absolutely destroyed. And I don't think the gun solves all of our problems. I don't think this macho, you know, thing that, that y'all talk about on, on the platform that I agree with, but it still is a contradiction to me because it's like, well, I've seen these stories of folks return fire and the, the outcome, while similar, does have a nuance of difference. And, and what does it mean when we start returning fire? Because, you know, I mean, you know, I can yell it. I can wally, I can wally, I can, I can yell it. I can yell you mojo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, his work, right, mm -hmm. is is it's talking bad. about, yeah, like the importance of self-defense. And then I want to just say this, and I know we got we to gotta slide off of this, but it's also one of those things where I think it is incredibly important to also recognize like the symbolism in fighting back. Right. Like it's not just pick up your gun and and throw copper. It is all the ways that is possible. The drought and the weevils. Right. Is God doing his work. But I can break this shovel. Uh, I can I can spill kerosene and strike this match. I can like all of these things have to be done in order for us to get to the place that we're trying to go. And I want people that's listening to the work to feel compelled to do all the things that they can do to get us beyond this point. So the album's called August. It's coming out in August. We're in black August. You've already clarified some of the intent behind the album, but did you mean for the, did you mean to pen an album anthem to black August? No, nah, I think that's a lot, but I did name my son. After it August. is though. No, yeah. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, hey. sorry, sorry. Please, yeah, clarify. Like ahead. that's because it lot. is an anthem. Okay, bet you know what I'm saying. Like coming from you, you know what I'm saying. Right on. But like, um, so you know, Miles Garvey, uh, musician, uh, activist, right? August, I could not come up with. You know, like there were a couple other names that was in the boat, um, and uh, he did not respond to him. Mm -hmm. uh in 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 womb like he just did not respond uh and then when that august came up uh august wilson and black august george jackson um james baldwin's birth march on washington uh haitian rebellion nat turner's rebellion 
all of these things that happen in August, it's just like, yo, like that's a hard night, August. Um, and yeah, like it's just it's August because of what it is. Skip Coon, definitely salute to you and Mr. Nick. Congratulations on the album. Everybody needs to check it out. It's incredible work. Thank you very much. Right on. Peace, because I know you both willing to fight for it. I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like.